Hello, dear students of class 8. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amari School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about Unit 5, Lesson 7 from your English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen, The Truthful Dove. After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to read and understand text, infer meaning from context, ask and answer questions, write answers to questions, and listen for information. Today's lesson is a continuity of the story of two friends. A dove and a bat who went on a journey and had to take shelter at an owl's place because of a storm. The bat praised the owl with too much and most of which were not true. But the dove could not lie and truthfully only thanked the owl for its hospitality. Today we will read the ending of the story but before that let's look at the pictures and try to answer some questions so what do you see in the picture well we actually see two pictures of a bat an owl and a dove in different positions here in the first picture we can see a bat and an owl are sitting together on a tree branch. There is a dove also and this dove is sitting on another branch of the tree. The dove is sitting face to face with the other two. In the second picture, the dove is flying away while the other two are sitting together. I wonder what might have happened we will find that out in today's class now dear students tell me how do the three birds look in the left picture it seems like the dove is not happy the dove is silent and is listening it seems like bat is asking or telling her something don't you think in the picture at right the bat and the owl are looking very happy while the dove is flying away now as we have discussed how the birds look tell me why do you think they look so well i think they look different because the conversation they had was not pleasant for everyone. They are really depicting two different situations here. Now, students, my last question to you. Who looks very happy? Can you guess why? Obviously, the bat looks very happy. I guess his purpose has been fulfilled that's why he is so happy now that we have discussed enough about the picture there is students open your textbook at page number 56 let's read the rest of the story what cried the bat is that all you have to say to our Gracious host, is he not the wisest, bravest, and most generous of all animals and birds? Have you no praise for his noble character as well as for his goodness to us? I am ashamed of you. You do not deserve such hospitality. You do not deserve these shelter you are an ungrateful bird 
and the pat is right, you do not deserve this generous hospitality which I have offered. Get out. Be off, I say, said the owl. Yes, get lost, echoed the bat, flapping his lithery wings. And the two heartless creatures fell upon the poor little dove and drove her out into the dark and stormy night. But the owl and the bat did not go unpunished for their act of heartlessness. The bat can never fly in broad daylight. He has to wait for the sun to go down. And do you know what happened to the vain owl? Well, he's blind as long as the sun is up. He cannot hunt or feed himself unless it is dark. So, the two vicious creatures with their dark heart live in the dark. On the other hand, the dove is rewarded for her truthfulness. Her name shall be used by poets as long as the world lasts to rhyme with love. This story was adopted from the Curious Book of Birds by Abby Farewell Brown. Okay, we have read the story. So we need to answer the following questions. Question 1. Why did the bat say that he was ashamed of the dove? The answer will be, the bat said that he was ashamed of the dove as he thought that the dove could not praise the owl. Question 2. Why was the owl angry with the dove? The answer will be, the owl was angry with the dove because the dove could not flatter the owl and he considered it as an indication of dove's ungratefulness. Question 3. What did the owl and the bat do to the dove? The answer will be, getting anvered, the owl and the bat rebuked the dove and threw her away from the nest into the dark and stormy night. Question 4. How were the bat and the owl punished? At the end, the bat can never fly in broad daylight, and the owl cannot hunt or feed himself unless it is dark. Thus, they were punished at the end by living in the dark, like the darkness of the mind. Question 5 What reward did the dove get? The answer will be. The dove's name shall be used by poets as long as the world lasts to rhyme with love. Thus, she was rewarded with love, admiration, in the rhymes of the love poems. Now, practice C. Make a list of the words used in the story to describe the three birds. At some of your own words. So this is owl. So think about the words about the owl. Yes. Vain. Vicious. Heartless. Gracious. Noble. Brave wise, generous. So my words, impatient, grumpy, selfish, old, mighty, and so on. Now think about this, that means bat, 
Okay, the words can be vicious, heartless, sly, and my words are insincere, greedy. Okay, next image about dove. Okay, words can be truthful, poor, little. My words are calm, quiet, grateful. Now practice D. What do you think is the moral of this story? Okay, I have already written down some sentences which can be moral of this story. Let's read mine first, then you will be able to write down your own. Number one, sinners can never go unpunished. This can be the moral as in the story we saw that at the end both bat and owl were punished because of their ill treatment towards the dove. Second moral can be, truthfulness can never be defeated. This line also has the potential to be the moral of the story as we saw throughout the story. Dove was honest and truthful. Though she had to go through difficulties, she didn't give up the truth. At the end, she was the only one who got rewarded. Now you can write similar morals of the story. Try practicing that at home. Now, next practice. Choose the best answer. Question 1. The bat felt ashamed of Option A himself, option B the host, option C the owl, and option D the dove. The answer will be the dove. Next question. There was good friendship between the, okay, option A dove and owl, owl and bat, bat and the host, dove and bat. So what will be? Yes, dove and bat. Question three, when can't the bat fly? Option A, in midnight. Option B, in daylight. Option C, in the dark. And option D, in the winter. So answer will be in daylight. Question four, who can't eat anything before getting dark? Option A, bat. Option B, dove. Option C, owl. And option D, snake. The correct answer will be, yes, C, owl. Now another practice. Read the following text and fill in the gaps with appropriate words from the box. The words are truthfulness, hunt, heartlessness, down, unpunished, vicious, never. So let's start. This is the text. But the owl and the bat did not go dash for the act of dash. So did not go, what can be? Yes, unpunished for the act of, okay, what kind of act? Yes, heartlessness. The bat can dash fly in broad daylight. So answer will be can never, never fly in broad daylight. He has to wait for the sun to go dash, go down. And do you know what happened to the vain owl? Well, he is blind as long as the sun is up. 
He cannot dash or feed himself unless it is dark. He cannot dash or feed himself. He cannot hunt or feed himself unless it is dark. So the two dash creatures with the dark heart live in the dark. Okay. So the two vicious creatures. On the other hand, the dove is rewarded for her yes truthfulness let's see what we have learned today we have learned about reading and understanding text inferring meaning from context asking and answering questions writing answers to questions and listening for information so this is for today follow facebook and youtube to see the class again so thank you very much follow the instructions of government and stay safe thank you again from amar ghare amar school goodbye